hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to learn how to create a notes app using html css and javascript here on my computer screen you can see one button create notes if i click here it will open one input box and here we can type our text note this is note one so you can add your text note in this white box and if I click on this button again, it will again open a new input box where we can add another note. And if I click on this delete icon, it will delete this note. We can delete all the notes. And let's add the text again to so we have added two notes here. This is note one, note two. And if I close this browser and open the browser again. Let's see. You can see this note is still displaying here because we have added the local storage that will store the notes in the browser. So we will create this note app that will store the text note in the browser using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's start this video. Here I have this folder called notes app. In this one, I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images. In this images folder, I have some icons that I will be using on this web page. You can find these images download link in the video description. Let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding, font family and box sizing. These CSS properties are applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file, I have added this title that is the title for the web page. Then we have added the link tag with the file name style.css. So it will connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we have to add the HTML codes in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page. So within this body, let's create one div with the class name container. Now in this container, we will add one title in h1. So here we are adding one title notes. And after this title, there will be one button. So let's add one button. And in this button, we will add the button text create notes. After adding this, Let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this text here notes and create notes button. Now I will close this browser and I will open it with the Visual Studio Code extension called live server. So it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. You can see the same web page but the URL has been changed. Now we have to add some CSS so just come back and copy this class name container and come back to the CSS file. Within this CSS file, let's add dot container and here we have to add the width. Then we will add minimum height. And in the background, we will add the linear gradient color. So let's add the background linear gradient. and two color codes. Then we will add color that will be white and let's add some space from the top, padding top and padding left. That will be space from the left side. After adding this, you can see the changes in this web page. The text color is white and the background color is linear gradient. Now let's come back and uh, with this text we have to add one icon also so just in front of this notes we will add one img tag so here we will add img and uh, src and file name images slash the file name is notes.png and in this button also we will add one icon. So here also let's add this img tag and replace the file path. So it is edit.png. So we have added two icons 
with the img tag in the nodes and create nodes button you can see this icon and this edit icon in the button now we have to add the css for these icons and uh, font size so let's come back after this container again add container and h1 for the title here we will add display flex align item center then font size will be 35 pixel and font weight 600 now within this h1 we have added one icon with the img tag so we are adding img here and for this image we will set the width it will be 60 pixel so this size for the note icon looks good next we will design the button so let's come back and here we will add container then button and in this button we have image so for this image again we will add the width 25 pixel and margin from the right side this will be 8 pixel let's copy container and button now we will design this button using css so let's add display then align items background will be linear gradient two color code button text color will be white and uh, font size outline 0 and border 0 border radius will be 40 pixel let's add some padding that will be space inside the button 15 pixel from top and bottom and 25 pixel from left and right side then margin that will be space outside of the button 30 pixel 0 and 20 pixel cursor will be pointer so after adding this you can see this create notes button looks good next we have to add one input box where we can type the text note so let's come back and uh, after this button we will add one div with the class name notes container and in this one let's add one p tag in this p we will add content editable true and we will add one class name also so the class name is input box so it is not visible here because we have not added any text in this p tag so let's come back and we have the input box just copy this one and come to the css file write this input box with the dot and here we will add position relative width will be 100 percent and the maximum width will be 500 pixel then mean height background will be white so we have added width and height in this p then we will add the color padding of 20 pixel margin 20 pixel and 0 then let's add outline none border radius 5 pixel so that the corners will be round after adding this the input box looks good and in this input box we can type anything now we need a delete icon also so let's come back and uh, 
before closing of this p tag here we will add a space and before closing of this p tag we will add one img tag write the file path images slash delete dot png it is delete icon and you can see this icon here next we have to set the size and position for this delete icon let's come back here we will add this input box then img for this image width will be very small 25 pixel position will be absolute then it will be at bottom 15 pixel space from the bottom and 15 pixel space from the right side cursor will be pointer after adding this you can see perfect position for this delete icon now this input box is displaying by default so we have to hide this input box and it will be displayed whenever we will click on the create note button and every time we will click on the create notes button it will run a javascript and that javascript will display the input box so let's come back and here we have the p you can delete this p tag or comment it let me comment this one so it will be disabled and right now you can see we have the text and button we don't have any input box now we will display the input box with the help of javascript so let's come back and here we will click on this icon to create a new file and write the file name script.js so this is our new file script.js next we have to connect this script file with the html file so let me come back to the html file and just above this closing body tag we will add script src and the file name which is script.js now the html file and javascript file are connected let me open the folder again and here you can see one new file which is script.js in the same place where we have added html and css file now let's come back to the javascript and here we will add some variables so let's add const notes container const notes container equal to document dot query selector dot notes container now we will duplicate this line it will be create btn and here we will add the class name btn and uh, in this button we will add one class name class btn after that we will add one more variable let notes equal to document dot query selector all dot input box so here we have added three variables notes container which is for this notes container class name then create button which is for this create button and then we have added another one notes that is for this one input box this input box is not there but we will add it using javascript so we will add the multiple p tag with the class name input box so here i am adding query selector all that will select all the nodes after that let's add one function then i will explain you each line Here we have added create button add event listener it means whenever we will click on the button that is here btn so 
it will execute these codes and first it will create one variable called input box and it will store one element document dot create element by p so it will create one p element and it will store it as input box then it will create another element with the img tag and it will be stored as img now in the p element which is input box it will add one class name called input box then in this p element we will add one more thing which is content editable true so we are adding input box set attribute content editable true so it will add one p tag then in the p tag it will add one class name input box then it will add one attribute content editable true and after that we have added img.src we have created one more element img and in this source we will add one file path that is for the delete icon images slash delete dot png so it will add this image img src images slash delete dot png now we have to display it so we have to display this in the notes container so you can see we have added notes container dot append child input box it means this input box will be displayed inside this notes container and after that we have added the append child img it means this image will be displayed inside this p tag which is input box so after adding this let's come back to the web page and click on this button you can see it is adding one new input box with the delete icon and we can type anything in this input field it is working now click again it will display the another input field now if i click on this delete button nothing is happening so we have to add one more thing this delete functionality so let's come back and here we will add this one notes container add event listener again we will add the click event then function if e dot target dot tag name if the target is img then e dot target dot so we have added notes container event listener click so when we will click within this notes container and if the target element is img then it will remove that parent element so let's come back click on this button it will display one input box and here we have the delete button let's click on this delete icon and it will remove that parent element let's click again and click on this delete you can see it is deleting the parent element so it will hide that input field this delete is working fine and we can also write something here hello this is new video right now we have added two nodes and if i refresh the website you can see it will be disappeared because we have not stored these things in the browser so we have to add the local storage that will store the nodes in our browser every time we will open the browser it will be stored and displayed as it is so let's come back after these variables let's add some space and here we will add one function update a storage
of data storage and after that we will add local storage dot set item and write the name notes and what we have to store here we will store notes container dot inner html so whatever is written in the notes container inner html that will be stored in the browser with the name notes so whenever we will call this update storage it will update the data in our browser so let's copy this one and add it here after deleting it it should be updated so in the next line we will add update a storage next we need one more thing if we write anything in the p element then also it should update the data in the browser so here we will add the another condition which is else if here we will add notes equal to document dot query selector all input box now for all the nodes it should update the data in browser so here we will add nodes dot for each nt sort for the nodes nt dot on key up equal to function and here we will update a storage so it will update the storage when we will start typing edit anything in the p tag next we need one more thing when we close the browser and open the browser it should check the local storage and if there is any data in the local storage then it should display that particular data as a note so let's come back here at the top after this variables let's add function so notes notes container dot inner html equal to local storage dot get item and the item name is notes so if this notes is there in the browser then it will be displayed on our web page just we have to call this function so notes just copy this one paste it here so notes will call this function and it will display this local storage in the container html so let's see how it works if i refresh the web page you can see it is still displaying the note 1 and note 2 let's delete the note 1 here we have this is note 2 let's refresh the website you can see still it is displaying note 2 so this local storage is working next we will add the one more last thing here we will add Here we are adding document dot add event listener key down event and if the event key is enter then document dot exe command is insert line break and event prevent default it means when we will click enter in our keyboard then it will add one line break in the p tag and it will prevent the default feature of the enter key now let's see here we will create a new note note 1 enter line 2 enter line 3 refresh the web page 
you can see it is displaying as it is so finally we have completed this online note app using html css and javascript with the local storage i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials thank you so much for watching this video